All right. So this is our guild. This is our trophy room. Oh, we've got new trophies. I should have been here a few times before. So this is the Rat King's tail. This is the Goblin Teeth from the Orc Warlord. And this is the Mimic Splinters from the Mimic Queen. Pretty dope. All right, let's go exploring. Where are we going? Oh, let's go back here. We we, we, we have more. None shall pass. Flee. We have to defeat a Minotaur. Let's go back with Oldest. Oldest is my boy. Not gonna lie. Oldest is my boy. Let's see if we can counteract the fact that he starts with um one less item in hand. Crone's knowledge. Okay. So this will counteract it for the first two fights. That's fine. It gives us more options early on. We can fix our deck later. That's okay with me. Defeat a Minotaur. I don't think I've actually seen a Minotaur in this game before. Grah, Black Knight says kill. Last guy from Ivory League lasted 10 seconds. Oh, is he going to chase me? He's got Fury and Decay. So we can rush him towards getting into Fury. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Remember, Fury means uh, once he reaches half health or less, his attack or his physical attacks deal one extra damage. But decay means that uh, we can deal two damage to him in one turn, then he'll gain extra damage. So currently, we want to run directly to the Minotaur. That's how you lose. This guy is ten health. This guy's ten health. I'd go ahead and wager that he's at like three level three. We need to run very far away. This is a fountain of power. Our unblockable attacks gain one magical damage. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Let's go here. And then here. Oh, it's a bad one. It's the fountain of blindness. Monsters can conceal. Let's fight a rat then. Let's fight a rat immediately after uh, conceal. We'll be okay. From a rat, we all we know that they all deal at least, I'm sorry, at most one physical, I believe. One physical that's unblockable. All right, so we're going to take that rat out. Oh, man, I can't put down any rooms that'll help us, really. We go here, here. Let's take a goblin. Ooh, there's nowhere after. Ooh, that makes me sad. Ooh, that makes me sad. Here's a goblin. Okay, we're good. Good, good. Go ahead, Oldest. Oldest knows exactly what he's doing. He's got Casille. We won't know what the goblin's doing, though. Yeah! Blocking. Spiky. Uh, let's see. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Uh, let's go out of here. Yeah, we're two for two. Spiky. All right. I doubt. I doubt this will. I doubt this will kill him. Oh, it killed him, Curtis. <laughs> All right. So we get one item. I think I'm gonna go paper crown. Right. Magic attacks. Uh, they might actually help though. Remember, we have a small hand size, small starting, or yeah, small starting hand size for each battle. Want a promotion? So it was promised. Oh Lord, he's gonna kill us next round. Next round is our last bit. Uh, what if we fight the rat here, which we will, we'll immediately fight the Minotaur afterwards. All right, they gave us dead ends. That's not even cool, family. All right, so he's got this. If it uh, if it's successful, I'll throw out a card. So get out of here, rat! Bite. Uh, do I get anything for unblockables? No, no, I don't. Okay. Oi! Come on, rat! There's a bite. Oh, I can't block it. That was close. How do you like this? Oh, oh, yeah, I found the power. That's what I was looking for. My unblockable attacks get one uh, magic damage. That was just for the fountain. The ruffled shirt. The pigeon's nest. Oh, I think I want that against the Minotaur. I'm probably going to need to heal. And then the wooden board. Let's go pigeon's nest. Uh, we don't have our spyglass. This isn't going to be good. Want a promotion? All right, oldest, let's do. He's got 10 health. We've got nine health? Yeah, we got nine. Pere, here's a mind strike. Decay, 
Remember, we need to land two damage. If we can land two damage in one turn, then we got him. Oh, I think this counts. I think this counts. We'll deal one, and he'll deal one to himself. Let's go rekindle. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Now, when he gets to the half health, which will be next turn, he's going to start dealing extra damage. He's also going to murderize us. Look at this mon this this nonsense. All right, so we're both at three. Here we go. Uh-oh, he dealt one extra. All right, we're even at two. Uh, he's going to deal two, and if he's successful... Oh, no! We lost? I'm sad. That makes me sad. Sorry, oldest. How many ways can a dungeon here die before you call it a day? How many children must you make cry? After that pitiful display. Oh, oh this was my favorite, man. Dang. We lost oldest. All right, so do they keep their own battle scars? If so, that means, uh, let's see, who who just came? Kenton? Oh, yeah, Kenton, oh, yeah, they keep battle scars. Dang it. So that advantage that we had with, uh, with the oldest is no more. That makes me sad. Dang. All right, we got to send somebody else out. Let's, let's check decks. Let's check their decks. Who can defend well, very well against physical? Imaginary box. Huh. <laughs> if successful, they discard. Oh, let's go mime. Mime's pretty good. Mime can... What? Oh, discard from the top of their deck. If I say, wait, they don't have a hand. That's pretty good. Let's go mime. And Kenton. Yeah, the cat burglar is not good for defending. I'm going mime. Mime is actually a nice setup, yo. I'm going mine. Dan, you're up. Need you against a, a, a good old Minotaur. Here we go. All right. Come on, Minotaur. Let's see which way we going. It appears as though... Ooh, this is the Fountain of Power. Hmm. He doesn't have any unblockable text. Maybe we need to make take advantage of that. This needs to be used immediately against the uh immediately against the Minotaur. I'm not gonna risk it for the biscuit. Not for this biscuit at least. I right, go here. That way, worst case scenario, I can have it go right up to uh to the Minotaur. Alright, there's claw. Imaginary box. Let's test this out. Blocks, and then we'll deal one physical, uh, one extra magic on this attack, so we can go stage presence. Top two for the deck gets thrown away. Oh, oh, oh! I choose discard one of the two. Okay, this goes away definitely. Okay, I clearly need to practice my reading. Clearly, oh, it can't be blocked. Here we go. Stage presence. That's great. Even letting me choose only one between the two, that's great because I can manip I can not only manipulate what comes up, what doesn't come up, but I can see what does come up. Yo, that's pretty dope. The mime is OP. <laughs> the mime is OP. We just need to get him stronger, that's all. Uh, straight jacket slash, or sash rather, and the troll femur. Let's go, Sash. That shift, that that swift is powerful. When it lets me, when it lets me do an attack before the enemy, that's a game changer. Oh, this is a good one. This is uh, we gain one HP per damage block next fight. The mime only has one damage, uh, one b damage blocker though. That's pretty dope though. It's not bad at all. All right, how about we manipulate the game? Let's manipulate the game. We'll go here. I want you to want... Ooh, ooh, found a knowledge. Okay, there's so much we can do here. 
We'll go here next turn. The Minotaur will go here. We'll go here next turn. Whether or not we fight a monster here, we'll fight a Minotaur immediately after. So this is the last room. Let's see. I want these two to both stack and be used against this guy. So what I'll do is I'll put a gold coin here and we'll let that be all. We'll let that be all. I can't really do anything else. If I can use both of these against him, I need to finish here. I need to not get in a fight until I get here. All right. And we'll put a no here and we'll call it. Let's go. All right. So we have two fountains here. We have the fountain of power and the fountain of heroism. Whenever we can block damage, we'll heal. And then whenever we deal, what is it? Whenever we uh, do unblockable damage, it gains a magic damage as well. All right. Uh, if he's successful, we discard. If we're just successful, we can choose which card gets thrown away. Oh, this is going away. Very much it is. Clone the next attack. Copy top enemy card to your hand. All right. Let's 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 give that a run. There's two damage. Decay goes in. Parry. And his parry. Hmm. Let's block. We heal. Yeah. We deal one. All right. Fury's active. This isn't good. This is what happened last time. Ugh. Let's block. Yeah, we heal. All right. Blocking and healing isn't bad. Let's do... Let's see. Let's look at this. Hang on. Let's do the bath. Okay. If we do imaginary block box, we block one, which means we heal. Then we take one. We're still at three health. We'll deal one magic, one extra magic on the next magic attack. He'll be at three health. Imaginary cannon... Oh, as long as his attack won't deal three damage, Imaginary Cannon will win the game for us. Damn. Damn! Oh, and it can't be blocked. That makes me so sad. Okay. I don't think we've seen this yet. In the event that we both lose, who wins? Do I win or do... Wait a second. Okay, this is only for the next magic. Next magic attack will deal one. Dang it. We need a magic attack that's fast. Okay. In the event that both of us lose all of our health, who wins? Who wins? Oh, I didn't even do the math. I didn't even do the math. Dang it. We were running things. We we understood that the mime is OP. The mime needs to get the spyglass, but the mime is OP. Dang. This isn't shaping up to be good at all. Not at all. <laughs>